I guess you can see the cover of us there says, ¿Qué pasa con Hazard? What's going on with Eden Hazard? And there you have uh, Marca chiming in as well. Uh, not a very flattering picture. Oh, come he on. went away with Belgium <laughs> on the international break. Roberto <laughs> Martinez said he wasn't fit to play. Sid, uh, what is going on with Eden Hazard? How worried should Real Madrid fans be? Well, look, it's curious this because I was asked this question uh, a couple of months ago and I said, oh, they shouldn't be worried because they're winning without him. They're going to win the league without him. And then you've got the summer to get him fit and get him ready for next year. The problem is, as you've just pointed out, they're looking at him now. They're, they're looking at what happened with him being with the Belgium squad this week and he wasn't fit enough to play. And that photograph. Now, obviously, that photograph is opportunistic. It's presumably <laughs> taken at just the wrong moment. And I suspect you can... To some extent, you can almost look for that photograph and kind of create it ever so slightly falsely. But there is still a reality there, which is that he's not fully in shape, just as he wasn't in shape when he arrived last time round. And from Real Madrid's point of view, what that does is it poses questions about his degree of commitment and, and his attitude. And bear in mind that this week there were stories in the Belgium uh, papers saying that he'd actually cost Real Madrid 160 million euros, okay? Now, obviously, it's possible that that's not, not entirely true, but let's take that as read just for the time being. That would mean that last year, every single game that he played for Real Madrid in La Liga cost them 10 million <laughs> euros. He was being paid 10 million euros a game, and how many goals did he get? One. Yeah, and look, it's not the first time that he's had issues with his fitness, mm -hmm. Ale. I mean, at what point is it fair to start to, if not criticize, at least question his commitment to the club? This is recurring. It is. But if we just address the picture just real quick, it's obvious that he is pulling his shirt back and then it looks a little tighter than it should. Okay? All right. So I'm, I'm not going to defend. speaking from personal experience? No, I'm not going <laughs> to defend in Hazard whether he's out of shape or not, but I'm just telling you that that particular picture yeah. does not apply. Now, in terms of Eden Hazard, we just mentioned Coutinho. His agent, Coutinho's agent, came out and said, you know what, Coutinho, instead of going on break, going on holiday, I guess, guess what? Guess what he did? He came back to Barcelona, and he's been working in Barcelona since then. Since the end of Champions League, he came in, he's ready to go, he's excited about the opportunity. Even in the, for the sake of perception, even for a message that you're sending to your teammates, to the club, to the fans, you're saying, guess what? You know, I'm going to be ready. And if that means that you don't go to Belgium knowing full well that you're not fully fit to participate with Belgium, then you tell Roberto Martinez, look, you know what, give me a break here. I need to be ready. I need to prepare. I need to stay with Real Madrid and the guy who I'm going to work with on a daily basis in terms of fitness. And then, again, I'm not even talking about the possibility of him being fit or not. I'm just talking about the perception and the message that you're sending. Say, I'm here. I'm fully committed to what I'm doing with the club. And I'm going to be ready to go from the first minute. Whenever that whistle blows, I'm going to be there. Be smart about it. That's all I'm saying. Use your head. Be smart about it. Coutinho did it. Maybe it works for him. Maybe it doesn't. But the perception right now for Eden Hazard is not good. All right, then, uh, Sid, one more thing on Real Madrid. Gareth Bale, it sounds like Madrid are reportedly willing to pay half his salary. They'll subsidize it. They're only going to take 20-some million pounds uh, for a player that they bought for much more than that. Is this the crack in the iceberg that will finally let Bale get out of Madrid? You would think so, wouldn't you? And it's the beginning, I suppose, of an attitude from Madrid that says, look, we'll find a solution no matter what. That said, this particular version of the story is, is, is one that's denied by Gareth Bale's camp. They say that there, there, there is no chance of, a, of an agreement along those lines, that there, that there has to be a full severance from Real Madrid for him to be able to walk away for free. Now, obviously, it's possible that clubs come in and offer the kind of transfer fee that Madrid would be interested in. But if anyone is offering a transfer fee, they're not offering to match Bale's wages. So I think we probably will be in a situation with him, as, the, as is the case with some of those guys at Barcelona that we were talking about, where his contractual situation has to be resolved first before he moves on somewhere else. And right now, now let's see if they waver between now and the end of the transfer window, which, as I said, is almost a month away. But right now, at least, Gareth Bale's position is this has to be basically settled in full before, before we move on. Thanks, Sid. The extended transfer window means plenty of time to check out the Transfer Talk portion of our website for all the latest news and notes. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.